Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Christmas Memories YouTube Inspiration Hop with Miranda and Lisa and a host of others. And it's also Mixed Media Frenzy today, where we'll, everybody in that group will be taking the same sketch and using it for inspiration. And this is a sketch. And the prompt for the Christmas Memories is, Baby, it's cold outside. And wasn't this the perfect sketch for that? At least I thought so when I started doing it. I have gessoed this piece of paper. And it's from a package from Die Cuts with a View from several years back. A very long time ago. And I still had some. And I, when I was looking at this, I thought, well, it does have trees in the background. Not that I actually need any, but it's gray. And I thought, well, I can go over it with some blue, and then the blue will show up a little better. And it won't be white paper. I'd have something different. And I'm going to use three different shades of blue. One is almost a green. It's a teal blue. And then I'm going to turn around and add the turquoise Heidi Schwab spray and add another color of blue on there, too. But I wanted several different colors. I didn't want it just one. And I did consider taking a paper towel and blotting it to make clouds. But I decided I had those trees in the background. So I was just going to go ahead and leave it the way it was. And I'm only doing the center part there. Because it has the torn paper at the top and the bottom. And it's going to all be covered up everything else. Part of this is going to be covered up too with my photo and a couple other things. But... I tried to do the part I thought was going to show. Although I'm going to be using some scraps from that Die Cuts with a View uh, collection, it's most it's mostly winter instead of more Christmassy. It does have a little bit of Christmas stuff that was in it to start with, but it's mostly just winter. And I'm going to use it. And then I'm also going to use some of that doodle bug that I've been using quite a bit of. That scrap right there is doodle bug. But the trees, I think all of them are from the die cuts with a view. Now, this tree is pebbles, which I didn't even know <laughs> that pebbles had dyes. But that one was gifted to me last year. It's the one over there to the left-hand side. And it does come with a star. But it has like three holes that punch out. So that's why I'm putting backing on it. So it has green in the back. And I'm going to use that yellow dye with the Christmas tree. And that one was gifted to me too. People find out that you got the old, old, <laughs> you know, big shot instead of the thin dyes. And they've got extra. Sometimes they give you some of their old ones that they don't use. And that's what happened with that one. A friend of mine gave it to me. Of course, she's borrowed my dyes an awful lot and uh, came out and just used my dye thing to cut them because she likes to work with her stepdaughter making things. And they come in really handy when you're going to do something with a kid. And then her mother-in-law had gave it to her and told her if she didn't think she'd use it to give it to me because she knew how much that I use die cuts. So I got it. Oh, anyway, I was off on a rabbit trail. Sorry. Um... The paper I'm using for my layers mostly, except for that vellum, I think that vellum is um, Maggie Holmes, is a border strip paper. And I went ahead and cut and tore several of them just to get started on it when my paper was drying there. <laughs> I thought I might as well. And I'm going to just layer them on there similar to what they have and then tuck my trees in. She's got more layers on the top than I do. I think there's like, looks like maybe four layers up there. And I'm only going to use two because I wanted more of the skyline, I guess you'd say, to show. I wanted that space a little wider because I knew my picture was a little taller. And I cut it down a little. Then I tucked some in just like she did. And it was still taller. And I wasn't sure how much I needed, but I knew I needed more than she had. And the original inspiration layout up there is from the Hip Kit Club. It was from a team project, it said. And I'm not sure how to pronounce the artist's name, but uh, 
yeah it is hip kit and you could probably find it on their channel they probably have it on youtube i'll look and if i find it i'll put the link down there below i cut my trees out but then i decided i wanted brown trunks on my trees so i'm cutting the bottoms off and adding a tree trunk to them and i cut that wood grain paper in the wrong direction so it looks like my tree trunks have stripes but then i thought well the tree trunks aren't done realistically anyway one of them has stripes one has a uh, hound's tooth and one has a oh looks kind of like maybe it's a canvas texture looking on there but yeah none of them are too realistic at all so i decided the stripe for the trunks would work just fine and i pulled out these stickers so i could actually use them on a layout again so yeah i'm thrilled with that because i have two sheets neither one is full but I do have two sheets, so there's some on each sheet. And I'm going to end up using a few on here. I think three and then the snowflakes. So that's quite a few. I probably didn't have no snowflakes on the other one. So it was a good thing I pulled this one out. But the original layout has stars and stitches leading down to each star. And I really liked that, and I was tempted to do it. But since my snowflakes was all different colors, I would have had to get different colors of thread out. And I wasn't sure how much I'd like that. So I just used the snowflakes. Well, they're really asterisk looking things, but I think they're supposed to be snowflakes. Oh, and I hadn't told you all about the picture. That's my great niece, Isabella. And she's all dressed up to go outside. And since the theme is baby, it's cold outside. I made that my title. But she looks so cute all dressed up there. And she has shades on that's too big for her and upside down. So I uh, thought that would be perfect for baby. It's cold outside. So, yeah, that's it. That's my layout. And if you look down there below, you'll see links to all the gals from Mixed Media Frenzy. And for the Christmas memories. So you got lots and lots of inspiration down there to check out. And uh, if you leave a comment below, I'll get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so much. But yeah, that's it. And isn't she cute in those shades? Yeah, I think she looked adorable in them. And of course, being upside down made them twice as adorable. <laughs> and then she has that hat on with the little braid looking thing, you know, coming down. So, yeah, she's a little doll and ready to go outside. But uh, I hope you all have a happy, scrappy week, that you take care and stay safe and get some scrapping in, get some Christmas layouts done. And, of course, if you do the mixed media, media one from the inspiration layout, post it in the mixed media group on Facebook. But thank you all so much for watching. And next week is the Mixed Media Hop for the month. And I'm trying to remember what the theme is. Uh, I think it's Happy Holidays. I think that's what it is. But again, thanks for watching. Bye.